What is up guys this is Karan here welcome back to Tech Karan YouTube channel another day another Android 11 build is available now for Redmi Note 8 users this is extended UI 2.0 official version which is based on Android version 11 with the September security patch has some little bit of customization also available but is it really good in the terms of performance if you compare it with the Atom OS in this video we're gonna find out this and a little bit of more things like that make sure to watch this video till the end and we are going to take a look at all these things one by one in brief let's get started okay guys this latest extended ui comes with the quick step launcher pre-installed it does not have the pixel launcher so yes little bit of features missing like the select all option missing from here and talking about the other things if i swipe down from here let me tell you this has the effect but if you swipe down like this you will face little bit of lags here and there this is the thing I didn't like about this build till now because it's little bit of laggy not that much I'm not saying it's a laggy build but has little bit of lags here and there maybe this is the first build so we can expect very good things in future builds but right now if you compare it with the Atomos in my case Atomos is far more great in the terms of performance first of all if you compare with the extended UI extended UI is good in the terms of these kind of things and if you talk about this quick settings panel customizations you can not customize your quick settings panel like you cannot customize the rows and columns and by default in android 11 you will see the 2 by 3 option grid columns here but here we have this 3 by 3 again which i don't understood but okay we can understand these kind of things swiping right don't get anything i have the chrome option available chrome sign in is perfectly fine here no issues here and there all the avsp apps are available phone messages contacts everything is kind of the same which you get in avsp rooms i have replaced the contacts and phone from the play store with the google phone and google contacts because i use them but normally we don't have anything like that Moving on to the magic manager, yes, it's perfectly fine here. I am I have rooted this device with my modded magic manager. Let me tell you once again, if you choose the Android 11 build in Redmi Note 8, you have to use this modded modded magic manager. The normal magic V21.0 is not perfectly fine right now. I have tried that it's booting into fast boot mode, even in the Atom OS and also in the extended UI. So you have to flash this modded magic if you want a root on your device you need to do these kind of things moving on to safety net status still it's a little bit of issue here and there that safety net status is not passed attestation is failed basic integrity false it is profile false maybe we have to wait a little bit more to pass the safety net status it's early stages so yes we can the we can understand these kind of things here and there Moving on to the settings, let's find out a little bit more things. First of all, you can easily understand the fonts that which means I can customize the fonts if I want to. So that's a little bit of more cool thing. And moving on to the battery backup. Yes, battery backup is very, very interesting. It's 82% right now and overnight it drained only 1% which is mind blowing and great and in my opinion the battery backup is perfect and fine you can use this room if you want good battery backup but if you want performance i'll rather go for atomos instead of extended ui because extended ui does not have that much performance it also have a little bit of only little bit of lags here and there but if you compare it with atomos it's perfectly fine there first of all if we talk about the system and go to the gestures option you have these kind of options like power menu show device controls and if you go to the system navigation which is the gesture navigation we still don't have uh, the hide navigation bar have hide gesture pill from here or the ima switcher or a little bit of more things which we have to wait a little bit more swipe to screenshot option is available here which is a very interesting thing and i sometimes use this feature so it's kind of a very helpful thing for me for my kind of users Digital well-being and parental controls, accessibility, account, security, things are there. Like Atomos, you don't get the face lock in this extended UI room. We have the fingerprint, we have the pattern lock, but in Atomos, we have the face lock also available. But in extended, we don't have the face lock available here too. So we have to wait for that one too. Display have a little bit of options like the screen timeout, dark theme, display size. We don't have the styles and wallpapers app available here because we are not using the pixel launcher. It's fully based on AOSP. So yes, these kind of things you get here. 
Moving on to configuration center, we have a little bit of themes, a little bit of customizations available, which does not include many themes, by the way, many customizations according to the status bar, double tap to sleep and icons customizations. Themes have a little bit of things like you can customize the ascent color, icon style, icon shape. You can customize the switch style also, two styles available. You can customize the fonts. We have the four extra fonts options available, X, U, I, ascent color style, transparent quick settings header and volume panel style these are the things you get here this is the extended UI volume panel style if you want to check it out other things are kind of same lock screen have a little bit of customization little bit of only notification here has the hide smart replies option available timeout and navigation has the playback control and advanced restart option available that's interesting by the way so all these things I just want to share with you I already shown you these were the things you get in the latest extended UI official Android 11 for Redmi Note 8 you can install this build right now the link is in the description if you want this now this is all from today's video if you like it don't forget to like and share this video thanks for watching goodbye